Hi, it's Carolina Moore with alwayseexpectmore.com and this week we're working on block eight of our Cricut Maker Block of the Week. That's the Whirly Gig Block. I know you're excited to hear that this week's block is not a variation on a nine patch. It's going to be put together quite a bit different. So you're going to pull up your file on your device, whether it be your mobile device or your laptop or desktop, any device that's going to sync with your maker and where you have design space installed. And then we're going to use our pink fabric and our white fabric. You'll notice our fabric pieces are getting smaller and smaller as we cut out of them and that's totally fine. This entire project was designed to use up just about every last piece of this fabric. So we will be using it up and we're already on block eight so we only have one more block to go. I have this little notch cut out here so my options are to either move this up like this or because this is my pink fabric and it's the same on both sides I can flip it over and put it in place and then I just need to make sure that my piece is going to fit inside here which I know that it will. I have my pieces on my mat, I rubbed everything down, and we can go bring it to the maker to draw and cut. I'm going to double check with that pink mat that everything fits. Looks like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four over on this side, and I'll be just fine. If I wasn't, I could grab this and I could rotate it 90 degrees, and then I'm sure it would absolutely fit. So we're going to head, press continue. Anybody notice that I forgot to take the pen out last video? Thankfully I caught it or it would have dried out. But always make sure that you take out that pen, put the cap back on, and then put it where you can find it so it'll be all ready for next time and you won't have any pens drying out. If they do dry out, they're not terribly expensive to replace. It's just always nice to remember, take that pen out. As you can see, this has been laid out completely different than any other block we've done so far. Had to change things up on you this last little bits to show you something a little different. These, this is made out of four different sections and each section is a triangle made out of two pieces. See how that looks all split up? So these two pieces will come together to make a triangle. Same here, same here, same here. And then we'll put these four pieces together. Super simple, I promise. Let's start by putting these triangle pieces together. Line them up like this. You'll notice you have a piece sticking out. And through the light there, you can see that this piece sticking out actually lines up perfectly with our line right here. We're gonna bring it to the sewing machine and stitch. You'll see when you end, you end right in that notch. We're going to do, do the same for all the pieces. Make sure that you don't stitch across this short edge here. You wanna stitch across this edge to make a triangle. I'm just using the blade here on the edge of my sewing machine to trim these all apart. And I can trim off the tails of thread on the first one. And now these can all be pressed. The easiest way to press these, even though the white is my light, is going to be press it towards the triangle. So just like that. And repeat. Perfect. Now we're going to stitch these two together to make one half and these two together to make another half. Think of it like rows. This is our first row and this is our second row. It's like a four patch but with triangles. So now we're going to press these. Since I already have this seam right here, I want that seam to keep going. So 
So I'll press in that direction. And same with my second piece. I have this seam going, so I want to keep going in that direction with my seams. And that prevents the bulk from flopping back over itself and making a big weighty piece. See, now I have these two pieces that just need to get stitched together and my block's all done. When I put these pieces together, I wanna make sure that I nest those seams and feel for them. Make sure that they're all lined up. On the back here, I have seams going in this direction and seams going in this direction. So that means that swirling my seams is going to be the easiest way to reduce all that bulk. So I'll go ahead and press on the side. Turn it around and press on this side. And then with my fingers here, I can see, there we go. This just swirl around. And then I can press it down. And there we have it. Block eight is complete. And that's how easy it is to make the whirly gig block. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel so you get all the updates on the rest of this quilt as we put it together. And leave your questions and comments below. I do check for them and I respond. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week as we do block nine, our final block before putting the quilt all together.